More than a dozen people living in an illegal RV park in the backyard of a Silmar home have been ordered to vacate the property. City officials have already cut off water and power to that property, and the people who have been living there have just days to get out. The order to vacate comes after years of complaints by neighborhood residents. Carlos Saucedo has the latest from Silmar. It's lights out here at the Silmar home turned to an RV park. Take a look. Tenants say rent is too high to live anywhere else, but neighbors say they got to go. A judge agrees and gives them till Sunday to get out. The conditions deplorable on the Silmar property that illegally houses more than 20 RVs. That's according to a judge that issued an order to vacate following a court-ordered inspection that revealed major hazards. Obviously, it's not to code standards, but I think what she's doing is great. And if we could uh, improve it. Manny Fimad is a former RV tenant who now works to keep the property up and running. That became difficult Tuesday after the city cut off power to residents. Mi gente, ¿a dónde va ahí? The homeowner and landlord, Cruz Godoy, telling us in Spanish she is sad, asking where are her people going to go. She says some of her tenants have not paid rent in months because they are unemployed. On Wednesday, Godoy appeared at a Van Nuys court hearing. She is fighting two misdemeanor charges concerning the property. She pled not guilty, but a judge wants everybody out. We've actually, for the last week and a half, have been working to find uh, alternative housing opportunities for these individuals uh, in advance of whatever pending orders that the judge, the court might order. Neighbors in the area are relieved, saying the RV park is unsanitary and unsafe. Too long coming, but it's finally here. We're seeing the end of the tunnel. Yeah, and, whole, and then she's being held accountable now. When well, they cut the power off yesterday, that's that. Of danger for them to do that, that's a hazard. And the city is offering the tenants resources, including emergency housing, before Sunday's deadline. In Silmar, Carlos Salcedo, KTLA 5 News.